All right. Hi, everyone, and welcome to a special Foundation episode. This is Widow's Peak. This is a town by Patty Fitzgerald, who's uh, active on the Foundation Discord. And Patty wanted me to show off the town um, in a video, and I agreed because I really wanted to see it. I had seen screenshots of it, and now I get to see it up close. And this thing is really something. This is how good a city can, can look if you're really into detailing. So uh, in this episode, I'm simply going to tour around and uh, look at all the uh, individual pieces here. Plus, uh, Patty likes to hide um, uh, gargoyles uh, here and there. And I've got a list and I will uh, see if I can see them all without saying anything. And then, um, you know, if you spot them, I don't know, if you want to have fun, maybe, uh, maybe point it out in the comments that, uh, yeah, I saw some gargoyles here and there. But uh, let's get right into, uh, and I love this map. This, of course, is the valley map. This is where I built uh, my first city in this, uh, in the early access version of Foundation. And uh, this, yeah, this is just an awesome map. All right, the uh, first uh, building here I want to show is uh, what's called the Purple Monastery. Just the, uh, the work that went into this. Look at the, look at the gardens on the inside. Um, with the uh, hedges and the circles and the uh, strange symbols whatever these are and can I can I drop down in here yeah look at the fountains and of course also the pathing is working um, these monks are just wandering back and forth like they're walking the walkways like they're going from point A to point B I can hardly get them to do that in my city uh, that certainly takes some planning and then uh, just the way this whole thing is put together is pretty darn cool. Um, and there is uh, somebody that's uh, traveling someplace with something. Uh, right, so this is Purple Monastery. You see all the different, so we got the herb herberies. Uh, and um, you can also see, uh, you know, we got the climbing rows here. And the uh, wheelbarrow uh, mod and then oh we got bees bees out here uh, everything just fits so well uh, hopefully I can learn from uh, the placement of some of this stuff right this is so cool and I want to pause long enough you know that you can appreciate um, you know how cool everything looks but um, so let's go down right underneath the, uh, oh, and I should mention that uh, the the reason that it's named uh, Widow's Peak, and let me let me say uh, Widow's Peak. It's the tale of the first lord and the cliff his wife fell off. He raised a monastery on the point where she jumped or fell and withdrew from the public's eye, sitting at its fountain until his dying days. There's the story. I have a feeling this is this point right here. All right, now if we look down uh, in the little valley here, this is uh, VJ Rayman Raymond's um, Stonegate. Uh, set and how cool does this look in here and of course you have one of the uh, evil sorcerers towers here with the black bats and the uh, popping stuff that that is really cool there's a bat flying out right there uh, cool if you're into that kind of thing little piece of wall uh, a little chimney here on the ground and uh, of course we've got some ladder sets being used and uh, you know a mixture of a bunch of different monuments to make this piece and then if we pull out here is that a uh, monument part of Lachie's uh, city extras and it clears grass off this area which uh, makes for a mighty fine cemetery can I get careful can I get down in here to take a look almost makes a really cool looking cemetery and uh, Right, and this whole area is uh, kind of uh, kind of does look like a prison. And then, right, the soldiers are coming in and out. I think they were guarding the door. But uh, again, right, you got the soldiers that they go up. Let's see where they go. Where do they go? Okay, they stand right there, and you're gonna stand right there. There you go. Okay. So now the other thing you might notice is these people. Oh, look, there's the there's the bad guy in his black hat right there. 
It is. That's a big hen. Uh, is these guys are climbing up the hill and then climbing up the ladder to get up to this uh, little village up in here. And uh, this is that ladder. This is VJ Raymond's uh, ladder set. And yeah, you can make these ramps. And man, that looks cool. And then uh, they go the rest of the way up the ladder. And then these little uh, planks here are from um, uh, Dersebi's uh, castle piece mod modification. But um, yeah, that looks really cool. And so yeah, they can go up and down ladders just like that. And then we can look up here. Can we get a good view? Nope, cannot. It's too steep. Uh, and look at this guy standing on top. How did he get that to happen? I'm gonna have to try that out. He's standing right here. Dude, you actually look serious. Well, till I get too close and then you look stunned. Don't hurt me. But uh, from right that angle, yeah, serious dude, right there. There's more monks They're all over the place. And that levitating box. But um, right there you go. And uh, there's some flags, the walls. Uh, that's really cool looking. And yeah, this little village here. I don't know if there's anything to find in this village or not. Do I see anything? Oh, there's somebody else looking out right there. Oh, look, you're looking out up here too. How'd you even get up here? Look at that. Look at that guy. Again, if I cut off the top of the eyes, they look like they're really serious. So here's this little village up on the hill. How cool is this? Uh, and there's a, there's a keep piece right here. And do I hear stone cutters? Stone cutters? Where, where are they? I hear him. I don't see him. Oh, look at this. I didn't see this. So look how, look at, there's a Lord Manor. Look at this. I almost missed this. All right. How neat is that? And I know it's out of focus. So let me, let me move in a little bit. Yeah, there. That looks so cool. And then she's standing guard by the treasury there. While wow, they're beating on the weapons. And yeah, the climbing rose looks really good on the wooden uh, Lord Manor. Right? The climbing rose all over the place. That's a place I'd like to live. It looks like it's a little overgrown. That maybe somebody hasn't weeded in a while. But uh, I'd still love to live there. And I, of course, I always appreciate it when somebody uh, saves an oak. Like that one right there. Alright. And so, where was that? This was right down from the... Actually, that might be the prison warden's house. Right? That's right down from the prison. And then you have another little little village where people live up in here. Protected by um, all these gates and such. And is this two different pieces? I'm not going to Yeah, I think it is. I think it's a, it's a tower meshed in with the, with the gate piece. Pretty cool though, and oh look. So these are markets, but they're, oh I see. And is this the main, oh this is a different ladder, right? Very cool, and then markets were used, even though they aren't, you know, nobody's doing anything with the markets, but the markets stalls were used to do these little blue things here. Well these people climb up the ladders. Are these benches here? See? I think these are just benches. And these are the ropes. I would never think of that. How cool is that? I tell ya. And, um, yeah, I like the way... Oh, this is Weaponsmith, right? Right? Weaponsmith right here. I mean, everything in this village is just careful planning so it looks right. Uh, this guy's stuck. But um, I like the turquoise banners, too. All right, so let's keep moving. Now, check this out. The, the hedge mazes. I mean, look at that. And this is just a stone church here. And uh, they're climbing up the hill to go to church. And some nice use of the walls. And if I get down in here, bear with me. 
First you gotta go like this, then you have to go like this, then you have to tilt, and now I can't see anything. But there we go. So yeah, some nice houses, stone wall usage uh, going up to the church. And then if we zoom out a little bit, we can we can check out the maze. And is there anything else to see up here? I don't think so. All right, and then I see a farm down here. Look at the wheat farm on the square. That's pretty cool. And oh, there's a hedge on the outside too. So it's like a hedge and then the wooden fence. Dude beating bread. Nice. And walkways carefully controlled so they go back here to these houses. And is this like a mini church? I think that's a mini church. It's it's a, like a it's a combination of uh, the door to the Lord Manor and a mini church. And that is so cool. And then this little chimney, I think, from the Lord Manor. And then these boxes are a mod you can download. And then the, just a the regular fence set. But this looks like it's something. Right? I didn't even notice that. Okay. And then we got the windmills over here. And more uh, bakeries. And, you know, I didn't even think about it. I always snap the top. Oh, those windmills are loud. To the market, but you don't have to. Of course you don't have to snap it. You can put it anywhere you want. There you go. And uh, yeah, I can hear the I can hear the money. And yes, we have sheep. At least one sheep herder here. And I really like the way I really like the way that instead of grouping things like I always do, you know, this is just well, you know, sheep will go here. There's one sheep herder here. And uh, I don't know how efficient it is. Uh, there's probably a warehouse somewhere that stocks all this stuff. Here's another wheat farm over here. There's two more wheat farms over here. Um, all, um, you know, blocked off by hedges. And here's one of the uh, sorcerer's huts. Officially, what is this thing called? It's a yellow sorcerer's workplace. And it looks like we got some hunter's huts, so that must be where they hunt back in here. And then we are way out there now. But, right, here's this little village over here. And the monastery and stuff are up here. So now what do we got? We have some more windmills over here and a few more wheat farms. And, uh... Uh, this gargoyle's outstanding in his field. He's floating. And what else? Uh, another, I think, a good use of a, of a stone wall. And here's an old rustic church. This is like a small, a small country village. And this thing's pretty cool. I guess this is another sorcerer's workshop. And again, with the chimneys incorporated in. And man, does that look cool. What is that? I don't, I'm not familiar with this mod. I'm going to have to look this one up. It's a crooked tower. I love it. It's a crooked tower and it's got green in it. Neat. Alright, and here's another one of these monuments. And uh, that's this place has been overrun with the gargoyles. Um, Alright. And now let's head over to, uh, look, a small monastery with some grapes. I wonder if that's one of those housing mods that I, I don't have. See the little rounded building there? Ah. That too. Here's another one. All right. What are these? Oh, that's just the, that's just the, uh, the winery. That looks really good right there. The steps go up. That looks really good on this hillside. Man, I need a hilly map. See? And yeah, that's part yeah, that's part of it. That is a good looking model. I forgot how good those look. And uh, you know, bench placement's always key. Place to rest. Because the monks are lazy. They gotta rest. You know? And a uh, nice hat, dude. The very purple hat. 
So this is the little blue uh, monastery, and I don't know if there's anything special in here. All right, then we get up here, and this is like, another part of this uh, uh, tower set. BJ Rayman's um, tower set version three. Here's another uh, sorcerer's uh, hut next to this keep. An another good combination of different mods here. All right, now here is, this is the cattle. Um, oh, I see. So, <laughs> there's no sheep here, but you're, you're doing the cattle. Well, you're actually, you're actually doing the berry picking animation. But this is where the cattle are. Let me turn on the user interface real quick. Yeah, this is the uh, cattle farm. Farm for raising cattle. You can't see the cows because that's not in the game yet. I believe this is a stable. No, this is a butchery for turning cattle into beef. We have 41 cattle. We've got 100 beef. Um, so, you know, I should be doing that. I should be doing that in Riverside because I need the cash. This it looks like a Fletcher. Yep, definitely a Fletcher. All right, now here is Red City, and uh, this place looks just incredible. Um, I mean, look, this is uh, this is basically where I built my church here, and this was the main part of my city. And just the detail that went into this. Uh, first off, guards uh, on just about every tower, which is pretty darn cool. And uh, I guess that's part of this mod, and I just never thought to assign guards to it. And yeah, you're there too, hanging out. They look so serious with the helmets on. And then uh, if we get into the city here, and uh, let me zoom a little bit further, we have the little uh, fountain area in the center, uh, which I think looks really, really good. Uh, this piece is sunken down. That's interesting. That's It's like a wall piece, but it's really short. I guess you can do that? I'll have to try that. And, uh, right, and we do have guards here as well. And uh, the plant arches and the bushes and the roses. And then more examples here of uh, houses where um, he forced the, uh, the no density. In other words, no density upgrade is allowed. And, you know, these houses look really neat. And then the... Um, the monument here is used to get rid of the grass in this area, and I think I think that just that that's just really sharp. And this uh, fort fits right in here, and a couple couple guards, right? And then the warehouses. I tell you, the way the warehouses blend in, I don't even notice them until I start looking around. And what else do we have here? Uh, sunflowers. You gotta have sunflowers. And then this. What is this? Is that the tax office? This is, I didn't realize it had a sign. This is the tax office that's sitting here. Really? User interface, briefly. That is the Lord Manor, this is the tax office. All right then. Yeah, too bad it doesn't work yet maybe it works next time but i did not realize it had the dollar sign on it <laughs> so it's the tax office boo well except i would really like to collect more taxes for my village anyway. uh right and then more usage of the rows and the plant arches uh, over the doorways which uh, looks really really sharp and then here's another, so this is a weaponsmith. And it, this blends in really well with the houses. Right? But you can see it's a weaponsmith. This guy's made a lot of weapons. More markets. I can hear the money. I can hear the money changing hands. And, uh, oh, ladders. Always good uses of ladders to climb up on top of the wall. And uh, that is a rustic church piece right there. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. There is a rustic church over here, 
And uh, I mean, I don't like the looks of the rustic church, but admittedly, this this one looks pretty darn good. Uh, I like the way these are sticking up through here. I honestly don't know what piece that is. I don't recognize that. That must be a rustic church piece, and I just haven't messed around with it. Maybe maybe that I've always used it for the outhouse. Um, but that does look pretty good. And then up here we have a blue church. And another good use of a ladder up here. You know how I like the ladders. And uh, the flags. And so this is a bridge. Check this out. This is actually a stone bridge that just bridges this little valley here. But because the stone is the same, this blends right into this whole structure. And man, does that look like it belongs. I mean, just one, one piece. That is really cool. Yeah, that looks so cool. And here's one of these towers here. I don't know, I, I just can't get enough of this. Oh. And this guy's looking out. Let's, let's get a close up. There he is. We'll get the hat right so he looks serious rather than stunned. Totally serious. Totally protecting the village. From what? We don't know. So moving around to this side, look how cool this interior area looks. But we've got a well in here and then uh, a little area where they stand guard and a bunch of doors. Uh, and part of these are Lord Manor pieces, right? Yeah, with the windows at the bottom, regardless of how tall they are. And yeah, this just looks really, really slick. Uh, can I pull in? Yeah, that's a little better. Let's get a little wider angle, angle view. And then yeah, a fort is built right into the side here. And uh, that looks quite good. You gotta love the red flags. Right, and then there is, uh, yeah, a mix of two types. This is the uh, stone bridge set, and then this is part of the Lord Manor here. Pretty slick, pretty slick. And a lot of treasuries, a lot of treasuries in here, which is, uh, which is giving this city the, uh, the huge top line number to how much gold can be stored. And I do like the combination of hedge plus small wooden fence. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, oh, berry hut's right here. Yep, and a lot of usage of these um, these decorative trees. And of course, oaks were saved around the fountain, which makes that look really good. Can I get in there? Can I get a close-up look? Can't really get down on the ground. All right. There's a little Lord Manor right there. I kind of missed that. Again, the fence with the hedge and the uh, multiple different, uh, the rose and the bush. Looks really good, right? Can I, is there anything I missed? Because you could, I could stare at this all day. Yeah, so these, uh, these herb gardens or herberies as I always call them look really, really good. And uh, I like the color of the roof. And I don't know that I've ever used this particular color, but these look really good next to the river. And of course, all these bridges are in use. You know how I like this map, though. And I really like the way the paths go through the woods there. That's, that's pretty cool. These farms, again, I, I showed this before, but just the way little buildings are made, like this. It looks like something functional, even though it's just a bunch of pieces put together. And uh, let's get down here to this bridge. Yeah, that looks really good. And uh, just the way they turn the corner and then walk off. The 3D effect there is pretty cool. There he goes. Who knows where he's going? Can we? Wh where do you go anyway? Uh, you go around the corner and somewhere... Okay, there you go. You go through here. Yeah, that's a great place for a monastery. I really like the way that looks. This little monastery here. Looks really, really good. Lots of oaks certainly help. And right, this is a uh, apiary here. And then houses right next to it. So here is, this is a Lord Manor piece. 
mixed in with the uh, gate set. Right? Standing guard. Looks really good. Uh, there's that yellow hat. Just went into that house. Okay, so I think I've shown, hopefully, um, enough of the city and given enough views. Uh, city tours is not my strong suit. But I'm just kind of hovering over this. There's another one of these houses that weren't allowed to get the density upgrade. Man, that looks sharp. Really like it. I mean, these houses look good too, but I really like the wood tops to these uh, to these little stone houses. And uh, yeah, sheep and uh, weavers. Right, and here's another stone gate. I think I showed this before. Good use of the ladder. And then yeah, let's right through here, right through here with the hedge. And then you actually can't get up to the town on this side, which is interesting. Because they immigrate from over here, so they have to go around and up. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, oh, another fountain. Hold on, did I see this one? Let's, let's zoom in here. Yeah. Nice little uh, fountain area here. Surrounded by uh, the circular hedge. Right? And these things. These little... Uh, well, they're the uh, plant arches with the roses. Uh, too many things to see. Too many things to see. There's never too many things to see. But, um, so have I found everything now? Um, another little market there. I, I do like the way the markets are scattered through this village. Uh, another warehouse that uh, is sort of hidden in the back. Um, like I said, hopefully I've showed enough of everything that um, you've gotten a good idea of just how neat this city is. Aha! Barrel maker. So here's the barrel maker right here. And it uh, goes quite well on the hillside here. And more coal. Alright, that's going to be it. Uh, again, thanks to uh, Patty for allowing me to tour this village and get a lot of really good ideas for uh, how to detail cities, towns, and how to, uh, you know, do things like turn off, uh, turn off density upgrades to uh, get different models of houses. I'm sitting behind the Red City. The Widow's Peak where I started the monastery is up at the upper left there. Uh, the jail, prison, is uh, below that uh, right over in here here's the big uh, ladder up to the uh, up to this little town up here and uh, the curly let's call it the curly Q church uh, right here and uh, just what a neat place to visit and uh, what a great job with this town and so that is going to be it for this tour and I do hope you enjoyed it all right thanks for watching we'll see you later